What's up guys? So today I know I'm heading down the same fucking stretch of road that I always do. But don't worry, it's just I need to go pick up some things. A couple of things. I need to head into into town to go get my passport done. I plan on going on holiday this year. I didn't go last year, I plan on going this year. I plan on taking you guys with me obviously and do some filming, which should be good fun. Plan on maybe renting a scooter out and jet skiing and all that good stuff so if you're not subscribed already make sure you are because there's gonna be some wicked videos coming up for the for the summer but yeah i need to go get that done and then i'm gonna head into some country roads and uh do a little vlog along that way because you don't want to see the same roads all the time you know we'll go do this then we'll head down to the country and i've got a little topic i want to talk about today it's a very common topic that quite a lot of motor vloggers have been talking about and considering it's wednesday i need to get a motor vlog out it's on the Grom because, well, I would have taken the R3, but at the moment, I'm doing the uh, modern videos, a little series that I'm doing. If you haven't checked them out, they're every Sunday. The first episode just went live recently, so you can go check that out in the card on screen. Uh, obviously, I'm filming it, then putting it out, and I've already done a few episodes prior, so I can't use the R3. Otherwise, you would know the uh, some of the mods that, have, that are going on, you know, before they even come out on the series, so... Can't be doing that. I got some awesome videos coming out for the uh, for the next few weeks. I've had some good fun filming some some videos, and we've had some decent weather, so I've been able to get some videos done. But um, what what I'm doing right now is I'm testing out a, a microphone, not a microphone. I'm testing out a new lens on my my GoPro. Now, because I film in super view, I have to crop out the corners because of this new lens, because I, I got one that was a little bit too small because it was a bit cheaper. Um, but it still works. So today I'm using a CPL lens. I have no idea what the CPL lens is. It, it was just like, it's tinted. So, I'm sure you can tell me in the description what it means, but... Like, it was tinted, so I wanted to test out what it was like. I was hoping it was kind of sunny, but uh, yeah, it is not really. Oh god, I hit the bumps. Oh, 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 oh. Hi, Orange Man. Can I go? Can I go? Legend. Burp. Right, I need a park. Um, where can I go? Oh wait, this is a parking space. Sweet. But ah. Right, yeah, yeah, I had to pop into the pharmacy because I've been ill recently, really bad. I'm on the on the road to recovery. Seems like everybody was getting ill recently, and uh, I caught the bug. So I had a little bit of medicine that I had to take. And I just had to grab a little bit more. Because I think I'm making everyone else ill now. Which I find quite funny. So they were all laughing at me when I was ill. Now I can laugh at them. Um, but yeah, what I was talking about is I've got this CPL lens on the on the GoPro. It's tinted, so I don't know what you can see, if you can see anything. So, if this video is poop, and you can't see anything, I do apologise. I needed to test it out, and I needed to do a video, so... <laughs> yeah, you gotta deal with it for, for now. But yeah, we're, we're heading to town, do my passport shit, and... I may go for a breakfast, I don't know. I got some hot crust buns in my bag, I might just eat them, if I'm honest, we'll see. I suppose to be meeting up with my sister, so we'll see what she wants. And her baby, the little baby, his little baby is so squishy. But yeah, I will see you in a bizzle, my nizzle, for like two seconds.
SV650 is one of the nicest SV650s I've ever seen. The work they've done to it, they've made it so nice. Damn! Fresh looking car. Would you look at that? Mmm, very nice. And that's a very fast bike coming past. It's the SV650. Ah. You all right? Yeah. <laughs> You can come along. I was literally making a video. You what? I was just making a video and I, as you passed, I was like, I love that S50. <laughs> it, is, it is quite nice. It is lush. <laughs> oh, beast. Here we are, a little bit different scenery. Again, I'm really sorry if the lens is terrible. This is the first time I've tested it and it's the only chance I'm going to get to do a vlog. But that SV650, man. I literally said as he went past that uh, I loved his bike and then turned around came up to me and uh, did a cheeky naughty naught for me. I'm going to chill and we're going to talk about a topic that's been talked about many many times but it's something that more people need to talk about which is the bike theft that is going on recently. It is fucking ridiculous. And one thing I want to talk about that's been really really pissing me off recently is a couple of Instagram accounts that specifically post about the pictures, uh, the bikes they are stealing. It's fucking dumb. The police can't do anything about it. Like, they're obviously not showing their faces, they hide their faces and they just post, oh, I just nicked this bike from blah blah blah, tell the owner that we've just smashed it all up and shit like this. And it fucking, sorry for the swearing, but it really does piss me off. And I can't believe people would actually do this. They're destroying people's lives and then bragging about it online. It's so dumb. You see all the videos of um, the scooters that go around and the gangs that go around in London that are stealing all these bikes. And not just London, it's everywhere. These accounts, I'm not going to link them, I'm not going to name them because that's what they want. They want this publicity. But it's dumb. I don't understand how people, uh, how police can't track these photos and where they come from. Instagram must have a, a way of, you know, of having their current location if they haven't turned it off or going through their friends like the police could investigate by going through their friends like I went through their friends and I found one person it basically tries to almost defend them and I'm like this bitch is defending these people that are destroying people's lives it's like how can you do that and they're just, oh, it's just a bit of fun you know they tell they bring it back to the owners they don't you see pictures of them when they're throwing it in bushes and shit it's fucking dumb. It, it, oh. But like, if, if you want to find these accounts, you can. I'm not going to link them. I'm not going to talk about their names or anything. I will talk about them, but I'm not stating their names. The police are now getting involved in this kind of stuff. Should we go right? I think we'll go right. They're finally making... Look at all these flowers, bruh. Yeah, they're real nice. Yeah, they're finally like... Obviously, they've had ways of dealing with it but uh, the police are getting tired of of all like the whole criminal activity that's going on with it like they're doing whole new campaigns and stuff to, to stop them you get videos of like the public that have filmed them and people are, are like the, the people that have stealing the bikes are coming up to them with like weapons and knives and shit I saw something the other day of this guy that was walking past, he wasn't even involved, he was walking past, saw these guys stealing a quad bike, I think it was, and they said, oh, what are you looking at? And he was like, nothing, and just carried on walking. And they followed him and stabbed him through his back, and the fucking gashes that he had through his back were insane. I'm sorry, again, I'm sorry for all the swearing, but like, like I, I saw the graphic images, of the before he had it stitched up and after and Jesus Christ he's got a scar from the from the top of his back all the way down to the bottom of his back and it is insane it is ridiculously deep he was so lucky to come away with his life but 
that's the thing. This is what's going on, and it's every day, and it's not just like at night time or, or stealing from garages. That ha that still happens, but they're actually having the balls. It's not even balls. They're just fucking pricks that are going around doing it in broad day, like kicking people's off but off their bikes and then jumping on them and riding off with them. It's fucking sickening. Um, but there's not a lot you can do. Obviously, you've got your insurance on your bikes. Insurance is going up so much now because of these. That's a byway. Oh, I've been through that byway before, haven't I? Yeah, I've done a video there. You can click on it in the car. But yeah, it's just insane. Like, in insurance is ridiculously expensive. And people are investing so much money in locks and just everything. I've got a bike here. So please, guys, lock up your bikes. Be careful. Because there's so many fucking scumbags around and it's just fucking sickening seeing it. It really fucking is. I hate, I hate seeing all these bikes being nicked. But um, get involved in, if you see a Facebook post of someone posting about their bike being stolen, share it about and help, help each other really and try and find these bikes because there's only so much we can do. But guys, that's the end of this video. Tell me what you think needs to be done about these prick stealing bikes I think the punishment for stealing bikes needs to be a lot worse than it is they're getting a couple of years for stealing bikes nowadays and it needs to be a fucking hell of a lot worse like they should be they should have to work to pay like go to prison obviously and then be forced to work for free and all the money that they would get goes to the the person that they stole the bike off or something like that something something to give the money back to the person because most of the time these bikes are getting nicked and then scrapped and then that person's never gonna find that bike ever again and maybe they've modded it you know and they spent all this money in it all that money's just gone down the fucking drain unless they put it on their insurance but then your insurance is ridiculously high I don't know you know do what you can to keep your bike safe guys and yeah Tell me what this lens is like, or should I just keep with a UV lens? I think I will. I don't know what this lens is going to look like. I'll see you in the next one. Sorry for all the swearing. I'm peace. There's people going on. Evenly matched, ain't they? <laughs> Great fun, love that. <laughs> oh, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.
Nice, dude.